Guys, I am so excited. My Allie Edwards haul is here and we're gonna take a look at everything. I don't even know where to start. I'm, I'm super pumped for this. I'm ready for December daily. I've been ready since last year, as I'm sure many of you guys have. If you're new and you're like, Ashley, what is December daily? What are you talking about? December daily is a scrapbooking slash memory keeping thing that happens throughout the month of December. So what you do is you document stories every single day for the entire month. Now there's not any rules around it. If you don't want to document for 31 days, you don't have to. If you just want to tell some of the highlights of December, you can do that. If you want to tell 31 stories or 62 stories, you absolutely can. There's no like set in stone. This is what it has to be. So I just want you to know that if you're like, oh, I'm kind of interested. I kind of like to look into this and try it. There's no rules. You can document as much or as little. You can use whatever supplies that you have. I do recommend Allie Edwards. She's the one that come up with December Daily years ago. So she's amazing at creating December Daily stuff. However, you can use supplies from Walmart, scrapbook.com, Heidi Swap, from Hobby Lobby, from your stash. It literally doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So I still have my supplies from last year, some things that I didn't use, so I will be using those. But these are the things that I got for this year and I'm super excited about it. And I wanna tell you something really quickly and then we'll dive into this. Stay tuned because in the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I am using a rolling cart to organize all of my supplies and have myself prepped and ready to go for December daily, just to give you guys some ideas if you're wondering how can you set up all of your supplies. So stay tuned for that video, but let's go ahead and dive in. Um, we'll just start with this box here because this one, it's like a little Christmas present. Actually, you could reuse this box for a Christmas present. That would be a, an amazing thing to do because it's super cute. Allie Edwards always does great with all of her packaging. But inside of this box are some goodies. Um, you can actually reuse the top of this inside of your album. But inside of here, we have some journaling cards. I'm not gonna open these up just yet, but we have some journaling cards. We have some chipboard circles, really, really cute. We have some little vellum strips. They each have different um, sayings on them. Oh, there's a better side of it. These are vellum words. That big one right there says twinkle. I'm not gonna open these up. Oh, and I didn't mention this box here is the 2022 main December daily kit. So I will have Allie's website linked down below to all of her December daily stuff. But if you're wanting the things inside of this box, you have to purchase the December kit. Um, look at these little felt circles. How cute are these? So we got the half circle down here with the felt, the stitching, and then you can journal up on top. And it looks like there are three of them. We have some vellum tags inside of here, some gold foiled number strips in here, some number stickers, some puffy stickers. This one is a, I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of like a puffy sticker, but it says December. We have a couple of rolls of washi tape in here. And then we have some journaling cards, some wood veneer stars some rubber circles. These are really, really cute. I think they're adhesive too, so I think they're sticky on the back. And then we have some other little stickers here, some Santa and presents. So that's everything inside of the main kit, minus the pattern papers that come with this. So we'll set this aside. Next up, I got the advent calendar. I did Allie's advent calendar last year for December daily, and I loved it. And I'll just tell you now, I'm going to start the advent calendar in November. So November the 1st, I will open up day one. November the 2nd, day two, so on and so forth. I don't want to wait until December because then what if I want to use something and um, I won't have it opened yet. So I like to use these in November. I didn't start that last year. I started kind of towards the beginning of December, end of November, beginning of December. But this year I've learned my lesson and I'm starting the advent calendar in November. So I'm not gonna open these up yet cause it's not time, but I did get the advent calendar, which I'm excited for. We have some stamps. So Allie also had a sale going on whenever I was on there shopping for December daily. So whoops. Um, I did purchase some extra things. Some of these stamps were only a dollar and you cannot beat that because her stamps are amazing. Love them. So we have these little to-do stamps, the bloom stamp. This one is for July. I love July stamps. We have one that's my story. And then these ones are for December daily. So we have the fun little tags and stars. There's the circle words on here. 
December stories, holly jolly goodness, December moments. We have the reindeer, the tree, a circle, just some fun things there. And then we have the good old Christmas font. I love this. I, um, I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet, but I really love this font. This reminds me of Christmas, right? So there's the stamps that I got for December daily. Now this year I'm changing up the album. I'm using a 10 by eight. Last year I used a six by eight and I wanna use a 10 by eight this year because I want to have larger photos inside of there and have more room to put um, pictures and embellishments and that kind of thing. So this is the album that I got. Here are the rings that come with it. So you can put these on there. It's a buildable album so we can keep adding things to it and the rings are huge. So we'll be able to add tons of things inside of this album. This is some pattern paper. And you guys, I love Allie's pattern paper. She always does an incredible job on it. She's so creative. We have some stars, we have Santa Claus, some black with some gold foil stars, houses. These have some gold lettering on there, gold foil lettering. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas trees, December. Look at the stars. Oh, yes, please. I need like a whole book of these, Allie. If you ever watch this, which I doubt you will, can we please have a whole book? Like a whole stack, like sell it like a book and we will we will buy it of ledger paper. My favorite thing to use. Um, some deer print, some other pattern print, checkers, some little starbursts, and then tags. And I already have ideas for this tag page. So there's the pattern papers. Here we have some journaling cards and some vellum tags inside of here. So let's open this up. We'll just kind of quickly look at these, but I do still have some of these from last year, which is awesome. But we have some journaling cards in here, some little prompts on them, some of them don't. Checklist, that's really cute. I'm, I'm so excited, you guys. I know you guys are excited. I'm ready for this. If you're considering doing it, seriously, give it a go. You don't have to have all the things, so don't feel obligated to. Um, but give it a try this year if you're new to it. Here's the vellum cards. That one's really pretty. That would be cute layered over a photo. Same thing with the red stripes. We have Santa, Christmas tree, love that one. Some stars, a frame, some black and gold that bird pattern, Christmas, ho, 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 uh, flower floral things, a, another frame and another frame. So those are super cute. And I love the colors. She's done really well with the colors this year. Next up, we have some window cards. And I'm so excited for these. So I've had a few window cards from Allie in the past, but they were smaller. These are big, you guys. Like I don't have very big hands. I always say I have toddler size hands. I mean, they're not the size of a toddler's, but they're small. But you guys can see, like, these are pretty big. I love these things. And they open up, and you've got journaling in a place for journaling. You can put photos in there, whatever you want to. So there's four of the little square ones, and then there's two of these longer ones. And they just pop open. Like, how stinking awesome is that? When they come, you do have to take the little tab off of there and then bend it back on that seam. But... Ah, I love those, you guys. So good. I went ahead and got some more of these chipboard numbers. I got these last year as well. Um, these can be used all the time. So those are nice to have. We have some envelopes. This come as a bundle. So we have this envelope. I like, I used something similar to, well, I did use an envelope last year. And it was like a whole thing of like photos and just like an event type thing stuck inside of one folder, which is nice because if you have something large where you have a ton of photos and you want to use them in there, these are nice for that. For journaling, all kinds of different things. We have this cute little joy one and this does have holes in this one. So you can stick that inside of there like this and then you'll be able to open it up and see what's inside of it. This one does not have holes on it, but that's okay. You could always um, stick it inside of there like, like that in your uh, album forgetting what I'm saying here and then there's a vellum pocket so there is the envelopes 
And then these are so cool, you guys. These are, they're called rubber shipping tags. It's literally rubber, like, but they're so stinking cute. I love them. I love the texture. Like these stars, they're, it's on there. Like, do you guys hear that? I'm hitting that star. So the texture is there, it's raised. This, you can fill all the wording on it. Oh, I just love it. You can fill the Christmas tree and the little star on top. I like that because it just adds more texture and some fun element into your album. So these are really, really cool. I hope she comes out with some more little rubber things like this. Now I picked up these shipping tags because they were on sale. These are not necessarily for December da daily. I mean, I can use them there if I want to, but I got those. And then I also got some wood veneer numbers and these are huge. I know that is so loud. I am so sorry, but there's how big those are. You can paint them if you wanted to. So if you didn't like the color of them, if it didn't match what you were doing. So you can see that they're little wood veneer well they're not little but they're wood veneer numbers so excited for those um what else we have a couple of journals so this one's just a felt journal cover there's no journal in it but i wanted to use the cover for one of my little albums that i'm creating and then this one is a pleather journal cover but it also comes with the crafting notebooks inside of here so this one's blank inside of here and then there's a pocket on the back. But I'll probably use this one for my weight loss journey memory keeper that I have. Not just, I'm not sure just yet, but I really like this. I'm so excited that I found it. It feels so good. Then I got some of these project pads. So I learned from Crystal is her name. I will have her YouTube link down below, but she talked about planning your layouts for scrapbooking, whether it's for December daily, October daily, just your general memory keeping. And ever since then I've been hooked. So she has those up on our Etsy shop. I will link to that as well if you guys want to check that out. But Allie had these on sale for a buck. So I bought five of them. You know, can't beat that. I mean, these are like, they have a lot of pages on here. I don't know exactly how many. But these are cool because I can plan out projects for December daily. And for, you know, eternity as many as I bought here. So we have plenty of project planning pages. And then lastly, I got some of these... Uh, stamp sleeves, the three by four stamp sleeves and some little die cut tabs. So I got those. These are, I think I'm going to use these in my wellness planner as well, but I like to put my stamps inside of sleeves and I have stamps or I have sleeves. I mean, for the bigger ones already, but I was running out of the smaller little sleeves. So I got those. So that my friends is my December daily haul. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you're thinking about getting started, seriously, please give it a go. Again, you don't have to have all the things. You don't have to know every little detail about it. You don't have to document every story. You don't have to document 31 stories. It is entirely up to you, but I do want to encourage you to document those moments that December is magical. Christmas is magical for us. It means a lot to a lot of us, and it's nice to have albums to go back on to look at and to see, especially if you have kids and your family and you can see how people change and grow. It's nice whenever you have your album and you put other people's stories inside of that album so you can read those later on in life. So I really highly recommend that you give it a shot this year and try it if you haven't. And if you have been doing December Daily in the past, let's do this. Let's get started, you guys. I'm excited for it. Make sure you're subscribed and you follow along to this playlist because I have tons of more content coming up for you guys. I will see you in the next video.